All your files. I'm going to test two DAX. One cheap, one quite expensive. Which will you prefer? Can you tell the difference? It's going to be an ABX test. You'll hear DAC A, then DAC B, then DAC X, which will be either DAC A or DAC B. Which is it? Which is DAC X? Now, I'll caveat this by saying that I'm neither an experimental scientist nor a statistician. So we're just having a bit of fun here. But the test is as good as I can make it, and I think well worth a listen. A close listen. Five segments of audio that I recorded in Abbey Road Studio 3. So that should be good for a start. So, what will you be listening for? Well, the musical sounds of the instruments, also the non-musical sounds, mouth noises in the vocal, squeaks and creaks in the acoustic guitar, plectrum clicks in the electric, pedalling in the piano, and also, importantly, studio ambience. All of these are components of real-world recordings in Abbey Road Studio 3 quality. As for the DAX, do you hear any difference in noise, distortion, frequency range, phase messiness, all the real stuff that can be measured? And what about the audiophile stuff that can't? Airiness in the highs, butteriness in the mids, gravity in the bass. Find your own words to describe what you hear subjectively. That's beyond the scope of objective measurement. Of course, if your equipment, ears and judgment are all audiophile enough. There are two key limitations in the test. I know from previous comments that some would say, if there's a limitation of some kind, then just don't do it. I'd say, though, that if you and I understand the limitations, then there's still something to be learned. Better to learn something than to learn nothing. Bearing in mind that one should always be careful to draw a distinction between data and noise. OK, limitation number one. The analog outputs of the DAX have to go through an analog to digital converter, simply to get the audio onto the internet. When someone invents an analog internet, things will be different. But this is what we have now. If this test were performed live, like in a hi-fi showroom, I wouldn't deny it would be better. But then you'd have a salesperson, sorry, sales executive, telling you what to think and what to buy. Hint, you really do need the expensive one. Number two, your own DAC. As I said, there's no such thing as the analog internet, yet. Perhaps any differences in what you might hear are concealed by your inadequate DAC. On the other hand, if you can hear differences, then it shows that these differences can be heard, despite the degradations of your DAC, indicating that they are indeed significant. OK, got that? Time to get to work. Audio files on listening tests, boffins on inventing the analog internet. Yes, I know you're dying to know which DACs you're going to hear. For my expensive DAC, I've picked the iFi Audio Valkyrie, which will cost you €1,699, Euros, which as of today is 1467 GBP, 1981 USD. Plus taxes, tariffs, shipping, whatever. Oh, it's free shipping, according to iFi's website. Lovely. For my cheap DAC, it's the Duke Audio K5, which I can buy today on Amazon for a penny under £90. I'm sure you can do your own conversions. I've put links, affiliate where I can, in the description. Using the power of my Casio four-function calculator, I can tell you that this is a more than 16 to 1 price ratio. Surely, come on, the Valkyrie will sound 16 times better than the Duke, and one would hope obviously so. We'll see. One might be tempted to think that the Valkyrie probably has a better specification than the Duke, and therefore it's going to be more accurate. You can look up the specs easily enough, if you think accuracy is important. But, and I know that some audiophiles might be tempted to think this way, the Duke may be sufficiently accurate, but the Valkyrie will add some kind of glossy sheen to the audio, making it better than the digits that came from the source. This wouldn't be my way of thinking, but it does seem to be quite a commonly held belief that good equipment will improve the sound, not just reproduce it. You may comment. This should be interesting. As I said, this is an ABX test. Three audio clips. The first is DAC A, the second DAC B, 
The third, well, it could be either DAC A or B, picked at random. And it will be random. I'll get random.org to help me with that. Your job is to decide which DAC DAC X is, A or B. Yes, I know, <laughs> YouTube audio. But there are links to 24-bit, 96 kilohertz WAV files in the description. And I'll include my original source file in the download. No DAC involved, apart from your own. I'll tell you now that DAC A is the Duke, DAC B is the Valkyrie. I know that this isn't proper testing methodology, but here I'd like you to be able to focus in on the degradations of the Duke and the lushness of the Valkyrie, should there be either of these qualities. In both DACs, the volume control affects the line output when driven from USB-C. So I set the Duke to full and match the Valkyrie to that, tweaking just a little in the analog to digital converter. I bypassed the fancy stuff like tone controls and X-Space, X-Space, whatever. For the Valkyrie, I set the standard reconstruction filter. The Duke doesn't have any options for filtering. You get what you get. I matched the levels to a tenth of a dB using a sine wave tone, as nearly as I could considering that my meter only resolves to a tenth, so the level could be up to half of that up or down. I think that's all you need to know. Let's go! before it's just another rewind I can tell you every line you're gonna say don't hesitate it's easy it's okay just one more time <laughs> before. It's just another rewind. I can tell you every line you're gonna say. 
Don't hesitate. It's easy. It's okay. Just one more time. words before it's just another rewind I can tell you every line you're gonna say don't hesitate it's easy it's okay just one more time <laughs> So, which is Dac X? Dirt Cheap Duke or reassuringly expensive Valkyrie? There's something strange in the neighbourhood. In my tests, are you ready for this? I found that the Duke is inverting. <laughs> so I tested it carefully with a pulsed waveform. Here it is in my digital audio workstation software. If it looks a bit hand-drawn, that's because the power supply for my function generator 
has gone walkabout. Anyway, it will do. It just needs to be obviously asymmetric. Here's the Duke on my oscilloscope. For comparison, here's the Valkyrie on my oscilloscope. The Duke is definitely inverting. Now, I have to admit the possibility that I've made a schoolboy error somewhere. Or maybe the USB-C on my computer inverts, or my RCA to BNC cable inverts, or my oscilloscope inverts. Oh, and if any of those is the case, the Valkyrie inverts too. Occam's razor and all that. I'm not going to be judge, jury or executioner on this. You decide from what you see and comment if you like. In the audio I've presented here and in the download, I've inverted the signal from the Duke. So everything you hear is the same polarity. <laughs> that was more fun than I expected. Anyway, disregarding the polarity because I've corrected it, what do you think? Which DAC is DAC X? The cheap Duke K5 or the rather costly iFi Valkyrie? Tell us all what you think in the comments. I'll make a follow-up video when the results are in. See you soon. Mm -hmm.